Hi y'all, Karma here. How's your day going? If you're not feeling that great, I'm sending you out love, light, peace, calm. Hmm. I hope you feel it. I'm excited to spend another little bit of time with you today and we get to open Enchanted Energies today. Now, Enchanted Energies is a monthly easy subscription box. Um, well, I guess it's not monthly. You can actually subscribe for, I think, up to six months or something on the Etsy shop. Um, but it, there's nothing reoccurring where you can do it that way yet. I know that she's kind of working on those kinds of things as she gets going. And Enchanted Energies is put out by a someone I consider a dear friend we've never met, but I've invited her to come to Colorado seek to come see me, so hopefully she will. And it, her name is Elena Enchanted, and she has an amazing witchy type channel um, that is in the video description, so go ahead and click on that link and get to know Elena. She's brought so much joy into my life, and I know that she'd bring joy into your life too. So Enchanted Energies, I bought three months and three months comes out to $76. So it's about $26 a month um, or $25.33 or $25.33 if you buy three months at a time. But like I said, like you can buy six months for $152 and I will have any discount codes and the link for you to purchase this Etsy box uh, in the video description and I'll also pin it in the comment at the top of this video so you'll be able to see it. Let's review really quickly what we got in last month's box. Last month's box for April, this is the May box. Remember I am running behind after moving to Colorado so I'm getting the May box published about the second week in June. So forgive me, forgive me. This actually went to the wrong house and then had to be forwarded. So had a few of those little things happening with several of the boxes, but my husband in Arizona is trying to ship them back to me here in Colorado just as fast as possible so that I can get back on track. But in April, we received the Kitchen Witchery. And if you haven't watched that video, go watch it. I was so excited because of my new house in Colorado um, to utilize those items to uh, do some protection magic in my kitchen and begin some of my kitchen magic. Uh, kitchen Witchery had an, the card she always puts in there of the astrological dates the moon star and sun cookie cutters that were so cute and so much of this she makes herself so those cookie cutters were made on her 3d printer the recipe cards for making sugar cookies and it was so amazing she actually put a vegan recipe in there as well so that if you're vegan you could still you could choose one of the two recipes then she had three little decor samples one of lavender one of coconut and one of sugar to utilize to decorate your cookies. She had an agate crystal that was really beautiful where she also um, 3D printed a little white pentagram and hung it with it. And that's hanging up in my kitchen window. Uh, I'll try and remember to put a picture here so you can kind of see what I've got going in my kitchen at this point. Then there was the Kitchen Blessing print, which had just a beautiful prayer for the kitchen that she had written, and that's up in my kitchen as well. The Pentagram Spoon, which was a small wooden spoon where she had wood burned in a pentagram on it, so you could utilize that in so many ways in your kitchen or in your other ritual practices. A beautiful kitchen towel that's hanging in my kitchen, and it basically says, brew up some magic on it. A kitchen blessing sigil sticker which I put on the prayer that's in my kitchen and then common herbs book of shadows print she had nine different herbs from the kitchen and the different meanings for them as you're cooking because everything you cook could be magical it's whether or not you're putting your intention in and looking at the ingredients that you're using and helping to infuse that wonderful meal that you're making for your family with magical intentions to help with their health and then tips for making for magical cooking and she had on that tips had different things like stirring clockwise versus counterclockwise and the different meanings for that with your kitchen witchery. 
Let's see what we have for May because I've been dying. I love doing her stuff and not having it was killing me. Oh, I should have another box soon from her. So it looks like she sent me a little something extra. I don't know if that came with everyone, but it might just be a little special note to me. It says, thank you, Karma. And I love that she uses the little strings and she makes all her envelopes and she always seals them with beautiful wax seals. Yes, she got me back into stickers after teaching school for um, teen 20 some odd years, 23, 24 years. I kind of got rid of all my stickers because I used them so much with teaching and then now she's kind of brought it back to me. But for my own personal reasons, I'm loving stickers and seal waxes and sigils and all kinds of things. So in here, there's a little baggie with a bunch of little things in here. Could just be a personal thank you because I, um, you know, super excited to share her boxes and share her channel with everyone. So it looks like there's a little saying here. Let's see, maybe it's just paper to use. Margaret Atwood. So it looks like just some different paper cut up. Not sure what that's all about yet. Then we have green jasmine tea. Jasmine tea is always good. Oh, and then she did some really cool stickers. And it says, Elena Enchanted. She actually does most of these, the artwork and everything, and then prints them up. How cool is that? And I just mentioned how much I like the stickers. This one down here reminds me of the Kitchen Blessing. She kind of had a similar theme on the Kitchen Blessing. Then these are stickers as well with all different phrases. Because you're beautiful no matter what. Run away with me. Yes. Bonjour. Oh, so stunning. Just some different little phrases there. And this may be her sticker envelope. I know she does a sticker envelope. And this might be just a thank you where she sent me the sticker envelope. Look at the books. So cute. And here's another one with a bunch of different books and learning. So fun and really appropriate for your grimoire or anything. It says, a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads li lives only one. How true is that? If you're a reader, you know you get to go to so many places other than what you actually ever get to see. Love, peace, and reading. What has been your favorite all-time book? What memories does it bring? If your life was a book, what do you think the title would be and why? What quote has been your go-to for motivation and inspiration? Why does it motivate or inspire you? I'll share that one with you. I actually wrote it when I was eight years old. It says, a dream is not a thing possessed. The dream possesses you. And only when that dream's fulfilled do you yourself come true. Do you prefer the book or movie, which was made after the book? What are some pros and cons about that? And what do you have to be thankful for this month? So my guess is this may be her sticker um, envelope subscription on her Etsy store. And she just sent me one to be able to um, open and as a thank you. So thank you so much. And it looks like these are little pieces of pages out of a book so that you could utilize them. Very nice. Thank you, Elena. Those are beautiful. And since she did kind of get me back on the sticker kick, I will definitely be utilizing those. Let's see what's in our main box. I always have such a challenge getting these out because they're stuck so well, the paper. I don't know what she uses, but it's always stuck super well. It takes me a while and makes lots of noise on the camera. Okay, I think I can get in it now. All right, what's our theme this month? What do you think? So when you open the box, it comes in a plain white box. 
but so much of her art and creativity is in there. So we've got some little squiggles, looks like just to pad the box, because you know, sometimes your boxes have more or less volume in them. And then of course she always uses purple paper, which I love. Purple's my favorite, it's her favorite too. The magic of the stars and everything in there. So let's take out her little envelope first. And like I said, she's got it tied and everything. It says magic of the stars. Now, part of the reason that she ties these with string and everything is she actually uses magic as she's tying the knots in the strings. And there are different knots that you can utilize for magic for different purposes. So when you open it up, it has her little sticker on the top there. Ooh, Sagittarius, Cancer, Libra, Aries. Oh, nice. Oh, and then on the back, okay, so let's choose Aries just because that's what I am. So you've got one for each astrological sign. So there's Aries, and it's got the star on there, and she made all of these, you can tell. That is so neat. And then on the back, it gives you information for each of them. So for Aries, it says symbol the ram, element fire, colors red, phrase I am, quality cardinal, stone a diamond, flower geranium, and keyword innovative, personality, leader, adventurous, energetic, confident, impatient, stubborn, assertive, impulsive, courageous. Yeah. Those fit me pretty well. <laughs> Both by the good and by the bad. <laughs> Those are really neat. All right. So let's see if there's, here's her little letter. I'll grab that out of the bottom. This is where she has all her info and her cards. And I do like that you can kind of just slide them out and keep this nice and then you can put the information back into it if you want to with the month and everything. So first off we have all the little um, reference things that she so beautifully prints out and sends to us. One is the zodiac transitions, gives you the dates for all the zodiac signs. Connections meditation. Gather the items you will need to be using, find a quiet, comfortable place, and then it goes all the way down through um, what you can do as a connections meditation. Then she has the astrological happenings, May through June 20. It looks like there were two sheets this time, but I do love that she sends these out and there's just enough information to follow and, um, you know, to have some interesting information for your work. So we're at June 16th right now. I don't know when it will be posted, but the next one coming up is June 20th, which is summer solstice or litha, her little letter. Enchanted Energies May 2021 box. Cosmic Correspondences is our theme. Blessed be to you and yours on this wonderful earth, part of the grand and immense universe in which we reside. I hope this blessing will follow you from life and into the next. This box is focused around the cosmic energies of zodiac signs and how to interpret their correspondences and build connections. So she has the astrological dates, um, um, the Zodiac Correspondence Cards, which I showed you, and that says set of Zodiac Correspondence Cards with information, so that was these, with information on the 12 standard Zodiac signs. These cards were designed and made by me, and each card featuring a decorated front and their constellation layout. Back of the cards contain a brief information on each sign as well as their personalities and correspondences. I decided to go with the standard 12 zodiacs instead of the 13, omitting Ophiuchus. I've never even heard of that 13th sign. See, you're always teaching me something new, Elena. O P H I U C H U S. Ophiuchus. 
due to limited information provided and the inconsistent use of its correspondences. So I didn't even know there were 13 signs. Then there's, uh, I, we already saw the, gu the Connection Guided Meditation printout. It says a book of shadows print from a sim uh, of a simple meditation to help you raise your vibrations and connect with higher energies. Best done a few times a week to help strengthen your connection and build up practice in communication. I would also recommend keeping a journal record of your experiences. And then she also has the Zodiac Date printout. So those are the things we've seen so far that I wanted to make sure and read. Oh, look, she printed out some more 3D stuff. Oh, I'll bet they're glow in the dark too. Stars, glow in the dark stars. Maybe they're not glow in the dark, but they look like they might be. I, I, in my kids' rooms as they were growing up, we bought all the glow in the dark stars and stuff and put them all over their room. So you've got just all different kinds of sizes of stars. And then, oh, and then she included in there a small little thing of the tacky putty so that you can just use a little dot on each star and put them up. Oh, those are gorgeous. Oh, that's going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Might put them up in here in my filming room. I don't know yet. I have to figure it out. But those are fun. So let's see what she says about them. Glow in the dark stars. Cute and fun altar decoration of glow in the dark stars. These might seem a simple item, but don't underestimate their potential. Their shapes symbolize stars, which help with associations of celestial forces above us. Their ability to be charged by the sun and glow also provides a deep connection and visual cue of how the energies can be stored and reused. Take a small pinch of the putty, roll it between your fingers to soften it, put it on the, the star, and then you can put it on any type of a surface mostly. And that it's nice because that won't ruin your wall. So then I see our little envelope, and this is usually our sigil. She always does a sigil every time, and I love her little sigils. Very nice. And they're stickers, so if you do any type of a ritual or spell work you can then um, you can then utilize I'm chasing around the the focus <laughs> isn't that pretty though I love her little sigils and I've been making sigils too mostly because of her she kind of brought that back into my practice um, Cosmic Connection Sigil. This month is a sigil specifically designed for connection and intuition to help with your journey on connecting with higher energies. Place this sticker near where you meditate, in your journal, or anywhere you deem necessary to enhance a connection. Okay, what is this? Oh, I'll bet she printed this too. Oh, it has a really neat texture to it. So that's what I saw when I opened it up. And this is the other side, Flower of Life. Look at that. So that is a great plate. It's got a lip on it. So you can utilize it for crystal grids. You could put water in it for moon water. There's so many things you could do with that. Seed of Life, and I said Flower of Life. Seed of Life tray. This cute geometric tray was envisioned by me and then digitally designed by my husband to print with our 3D printer. Made out of bioplastic corn-based filament, she says it smells like uh, kettle corn when she's printing. Featuring a sacred geometry design with the seed of life. The seed of life is a design which is symbolic of the name it carries. It's the basis of all things and considered to be the blueprint of the universe. This sacred geometry design is the start of where everything comes from, be it galactical and phenomenal birth of a star far past our stratosphere or an equally phenomenal occurrence of cell division in the creation of a human. It all starts with this shape. It corresponds to the connection we have towards everything around us. Cleaning instructions, hand wash using warm water and mild soap. Um, because this is printed and this is a plastic, you don't want to put anything fire or burn on it and hand washing it's going to be 
the best way because putting it in a dishwasher, yeah, probably start to dissolve. But that is so cool. I don't think you can really see the texture on it. Maybe you can, look. Isn't that neat? See, as I turn it, you can kind of see the design that her and her husband did. Oh, that is so pretty. Then we have some type of a cloth, maybe an altar cloth. Oh, beautiful. And she usually sews these and makes them. Look how pretty. And it's a nice weight, cotton, fairly light, absolutely beautiful. Maybe I'll use it to do the pictures of the boxes on, but I will definitely utilize this in part of the practice that she's got going for us here to connect. So let's see. Zodiac altar cloth, hand sewn cotton altar cloth in standard size, featuring a purple astrological design with Zodiac details. Perfect fit for the theme of this box and a great way to decorate your altar during the energies of the cosmos and adding a pop purple color. Purple always is a win. All right, we've got two more items here. One says, warning contains nuts. So, um, connection. It looks like it's an essential oil. It's nice that she puts this big warning on there because of nuts. Um, that's one thing that I really appreciate working on my natural path when people put warnings for people with allergies because you know smelling this or rubbing this on you and going into anaphylactic shock even if you have an EpiPen and it doesn't kill you not a fun day not a fun week <laughs> not a fun month Connections Oil Roll-On. This handmade mix of essential oils is a perfect way to help raise your vibrations and strengthen the connection with the divine energy while you're meditating. The blend is a sweet and slightly citrusy scent with lemongrass oil, walnut oil, sage oil, lemon, and a quartz crystal chip to amplify all their energies. Lemongrass is great for psychic opening and cleansing. Walnut is there to provide easier access and connection to divine energies. Sage for cleansing and clearing, while lemon helps with spiritual opening and raising vibrations. All of these combined create a potent mix for opening up your psychic senses and welcoming a connection for communication. Let's see how it smells. Oh, really nice. can definitely smell the sage in there and the lemon and the lemongrass so it all kind of blends together beautifully but you can pick out some of the notes from them just momentarily as you smell the whole combination that's beautiful so connection oil and we have one more thing in here it must be a stone I always can't wait for her boxes. Aren't these so well put together? And for the price, you just can't beat it. And it's because it's all of her time that goes into this. She doesn't go out and buy lots and lots of things. She buys little items and then creates them herself. And I know that she's not really making anything off these hardly, especially when you take her time into account. But I know this is one of her ways of actually giving back to the community and, you know, helping people with their spiritual growth. So it's wrapped in tissue and black stones are so crazy. It might be a tourmaline because it's kind of got those ridges on there, but black stones are hard for me to identify. So let's see, look at it first. You tell me what you think. So it's got the little ridges on it. Kind of shiny. Um, oh, yep, tourmaline. I love tourmaline. So I have tourmaline in this necklace right here with my Moldavite because the tourmaline really grounds and helps with the um, 
the cosmic connection with the moldavite which can sometimes make you feel flighty but when you pair it with a black tourmaline it will ground you and help to um, even out those energies and i play a lot with this black tourmaline on my necklace so i'm excited to have a nice chunk and tourmaline is not always super cheap to buy and this is a gorgeous chunk it's not super expensive either, but it's not as cheap as a lot of the stones. With every connection journey, you need to use a form of grounding and protection. Black tourmaline crystals are perfect for the job. It's a calming and grounding stone and a powerful protector. Yet at the same time, it doesn't hinder your meditations for connection. In fact, it helps with connection and enhances sensitivity to understanding. I'm really happy to have that because like I said, I sit and play with this one all day long and fill the ridges on it and it just helps ground. And like she said, it doesn't seem to affect your connection with the other stones, but just gives you a nice grounding and protection to explore those energies of the stone. So in this month's box that was Cosmic Correspondences, we got the Astrological Date Card, the Connections Oil Roll-On, the Zodiac Altar Cloth, the Zodiac Correspondence Cards, the Black Tourmaline Crystal, the Seed of Life Tray, the Cosmic Connection Sigil, the Glow in the Dark Stars, the Connection Guided Meditation Printout, and the Zodiac Dates Printout. For the price of this box, you just can't go wrong, but it's more than the price of the box. It's the time and energy and intention and magic that she infuses into everything she sends you. Much of this stuff you'll find out later or I'll talk to her and she'll say, yeah, I collected this while I was out during this and used it in this. And she often does videos. I think she just put this one out and she does the videos where she talks about what she made as she's packing the boxes and so you can get even more insight as to why these items are so special so thank you so much elena for the beautiful box i can't wait to get june's box it should be here before too long and i will have two boxes to work with this month i hope you had a great time hanging out with me and opening enchanted energies box what did you think of the box this month and how would you utilize these items if you received the box? Let me know, are you receiving this box? I hope you do because it is one of the most authentic boxes that I receive.